there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. In this video, we are getting it all done over the course of one evening and then the next morning. So to start, I was kind of gross and I was ready for a shower, so I thought it would be a really good time to cut baby Jack's hair. The poor little guy didn't seem to be enjoying it even though he really wasn't crying. He was just making sad faces. But this is the third time that I've cut his hair and I trimmed off a good amount of hair actually. But after I cut his hair, uh, we bathed ourselves. I used some of my express milk, like from a haka, to give him a milk bath. And then when we were both clean, I tried to dress him as easily as possible. He's in that stage where he's like rolling around every single time that I lay him down. So I found that even though it doesn't look like it's super easy, this is the easiest way for me to dress him and put on lotion. And it figures, you know, I bathe him, I bathe myself, and then I get spit up on right away. So kind of feel like what's the point of making myself clean? But anyways, that's a whole nother story. But we are trying to get him dressed and, you know, it's a struggle, but it gets done. He has been making that sound like all day for like a week. <laughs> it sounds like he's trying to squeeze something out, but I think he's just like having fun going. <laughs> yeah, you're being silly. Is that mommy on the camera? Is that little baby Jack on the camera? Yeah, what else do you want to say? Yeah? So I just had to share that cute little moment. I want to document this not only for you guys, but for myself as well. I love his little voice and his little sound effects. But after that, we are moving on and I am trying to clean this bath. It actually has been getting like really dirty, either from the dirt that Aubrey's like bringing in from outside or kind of like moldy you know contents I don't know exactly what it is but it needed to be clean so I have this little Dollar Tree like soap dispenser scrubber thing that's for the kitchen or for dishes but I keep a little bit of Dawn soap in there and then keep it in my shower and so whenever I'm showering I usually wipe down the walls so I figured I would just use that to clean not only Jack's little like bathtub which obviously is in definite need of cleaning but also the big tub as well so for all of you moms out there, remember to pull off this little seat if you have a tub that's like this, that has the insert for like the kiddos uh, when they're a little bit younger. Make sure you pull that off because even if you like hang this to dry, there's still moisture that gets trapped in there and then it gets moldy. Luckily, Jack's not really drinking the water yet. So, you know, I probably let it go a little bit too far to be honest, but I will be cleaning this out more frequently now just to avoid having any issues with the mold or whatever was growing underneath there. Take me higher, higher, higher. 
I gotta say, as I'm rewatching this, like I found it really satisfying to clean this because it was such a, you know, different before versus after. But obviously my goal is to not let it get that bad. So hopefully this will be the last time that I have to clean it while it's looking this bad. But anyways, after I finished with the bathtub, I brought the toys that were in the bath and I loaded them in our dishwasher just to kind of get clean and sterilize. And then it was time to lay Jack down for the night. And I just kind of did my little evening routine and went to bed. So the next morning I was in a crafty mood and I decided to <laughs> make a belated Father's Day gift for both Juan and my brother-in-law. And so I used some of this, um, for my brother-in-law at least, I used some of this clear contact paper from the Dollar Tree, which I think is like the perfect thing for doing etched projects. So we're gonna be making him an etched glass. He really loves Swarrow cactuses. So I went ahead and found a free design on Cricut Design Space and cut it out based on the size of the little mug that I have and put it on a mug, used Armor Etch, which is um, like a product that makes your glass kind of foggy looking. So I have found that transferring the entire sticker to the glass first helps and then you weed off the design that you want to be etched. So I'm weeding it off here. It was a little bit difficult to like not lift up the small pieces, but I got it done. And then you apply the etching cream with like a little brush and let it sit for like five minutes and then you kind of like disturb it and maybe put a little bit more on and then wait another five minutes and rinse it off. So it's worth noting that like when you're applying this or kind of disturbing the cream that's already there, you wanna make sure to go like brush up against the stencil and go in different directions just to make sure that every little crevice, you know, gets some of the etching cream. And then well, you wanna rinse it off after like the 10 minutes of it being applied. I just kind of rub it with like a plastic glove and then as I'm kind of making sure all the product is off, I peel off any of the stickers, they kind of stick to the plastic glove and then I just throw all of that away. And then I usually either put the item in the dishwasher or wash it by hand. And then you can see as it's, you know, when it's all dried up, you can clearly see the cactus even from the other side. And then it was time to wrap it up for my brother-in-law. Next, we are moving on to Juan's little belated Father's Day gift. He loves gnomes, and so I designed this little thing. So I thought I would try cutting wood for the very first time using my Cricut, and it took me a whole long period of time trying to even just get it set up. Realized that I, even though the blade said that it was meant for wood, that it was the wrong blade. So it really didn't even cut through the entire piece of wood, which was already really thin. It took me a long time and I just ended up, you know, kind of 
going pass after pass, like letting the machine cut and recut the same thing. It didn't cut all the way through. It's just a big old mess. But anyways, I went ahead and ended up cutting enough where I could break off the pieces that weren't part of my design and then sand them down. We have since purchased another correct blade and um, hopefully that will work better. I haven't used it yet. And I figured Juan loves to paint, so I'm gonna let him go ahead and paint that and decorate it. But it's just a little Father's Day gnome that I designed that we can use for decoration in the future. So moving on, I'd like to thank Mayfert for sponsoring this portion of today's video. They sent us this set of two storage wire baskets with wooden lids. This product can be used all over the house, which I will demonstrate in a second, but let's go ahead and assemble these adorable organizers. The wire pieces simply unfold and snap into place so it's super easy and then once the side pieces are secure you attach the wooden top with the provided screws. I loosely secured all three screws first before tightening them. You can have these baskets out on your countertop side by side or stacked one on top of the other and place fruits or veggies in them. You can store them in your pantry or you can hang them using the provided supplies. So one possible location is the laundry room. You can keep your dryer sheets in the basket and use the wooden top for decorations or as a shelf to hold soap or other laundry essentials. You can hang these above a bathtub to hold your kids' toys. The design would allow for water to drip off the toys and fall back in the tub. Another location would be a coffee or drink bar. I think this is where our baskets will end up. I just don't know exactly how I want to assemble them. Let me know down below in the comments if you think they should be side by side, one above the other, or staggered. I can't wait to see how this coffee bar ends up, and I think that these storage wire baskets will fit perfectly in this space. I will place the product link down below in the description box for your convenience if you'd like to pick up this awesome product. Again, I'd like to thank Mayfert for sponsoring this portion of today's video. So moving on, we are going outside with some potassium water that I've kind of created using some banana peels and a jar. We are going to water this rose bush that we transplanted and it's taking a while to like root. And since doing this, we've trimmed down the um, stems that like were kind of dead and I'm starting to see new growth. So I'm excited about that. It's not a complete, you know, disaster that will eventually grow and look nice in our front yard. But then I figured since while I'm outside, let's go ahead and sweep our little, I don't know, is this a porch or an entryway, I guess? Anyways, it's gotten really dirty. It's kind of dusty where we're at. So I thought I would give this a little clean and clean our little rug that's outside as well.
And then like I mentioned before, Juan loves gnomes. And so these are the two gnomes that we picked up from at home in a previous video. Moving on, we are going to be restocking a couple things in our master bathroom. So we got a bunch of Q-tips delivered from Walmart. Not all of them will be going in this small jar, but we, you know, obviously we're at our very like last Q-tip. So we're gonna go ahead and restock this. And then I actually store tissues in a different way. So instead of having the box out and having it kind of be an eyesore in the bathroom, I keep my tissues in this glass jar that's a little bit bigger. And I just take the tissues out of the box and fold them in half and then insert them in the jar and then pull out the center tissue. And then the way that it's designed, you can continue to keep pulling them out. And I like this for bathrooms because any of the gross particles floating around will actually not get on your tissues and then therefore get on your face because of that glass lid. So let me know if you go ahead and incorporate that in your own life. But we are wrapping up this get it all done video with just changing the sheets uh, in kind of going through our stuff in the garage recently and just trying to finish unpacking. I did find the bed skirt that actually went with our set. So I'm replacing the bed skirt. I found a mattress protector that was meant for this mattress. So I'm putting that on and then just changing our sheets because it was, you know, it was time to switch them out. And if you haven't seen how I fold my sheets to like really save space, make sure you check out my video that I've linked up above where I share my little hack. I love it and it will never fold sheets a different way. It's gonna be a forever thing. And then I realized as I was like still assembling the sheets that there was like a bump under them and it was like a pair of Aubrey shorts. I, I apparently, you know, that got wrapped up in everything. And I just never noticed because I probably was distracted by a whole bunch of other stuff. I gotta say, making this bed probably would have been a lot quicker if I had another set of hands. Putting on that bed skirt was a bit of a challenge by myself, but I got it done. Anyways, I'd like to thank you guys for watching today's video, and if you enjoyed it, go ahead and leave us a big thumbs up. If you are new, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next one. end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.